What gives me hope is the recent wave of commitment to reduce emission to net zero from a lot of large corporations, a lot of market participants. And we've really seen a shift in the market. A lot of corporations, investors, banks, acknowledging the importance of the issue, the, the, the risk, what's at stake, and making commitments that go well beyond what regulators expect of them and even sometimes what customers expect of them. So really get being ahead of the game. Um, and it's not easy. So Moody's as a corporation has also taken a net zero commitment and it's hard work. We don't necessarily have all the answers, but it's important to get started now, to start reducing emissions now and see how far we can go, send the signal that we're going in that direction. What concerns me is that, in spite of all these commitments, we're still very far away from where we need to be. Our data shows that out of a group of about 3,000 large corporations, only 13% of those corporations have taken a target. We are very far from having the breadth of the uh, market movement that one would expect. And even with those commitments, we're not on track for 1.5. And, and what the science shows is, every bit of a degree really matters. We need to keep temperature as low as we can. And even with all those efforts, even if we get to 1.5 and keep uh, warming to under 1.5, um, the, there's a lot of physical impacts that are baked into the system and that we're going to experience under any circumstances. two kind of risks that people typically look at. Physical risk is looking at the impact of rising seas, floods, storms. Those risks are relevant for anyone who operates on planet Earth. So it really touches everyone on the market. Not every location, not every company is impacted in the same way, but there are very widespread risks. And we're seeing more companies starting to uh, look into those risks. We're seeing more expectations that those risks are going to be disclosed. But generally what our uh, modeling shows is that the impacts on the market are really widespread. The impacts on the economy are very widespread. And with a, a high impact type scenario for physical risk, we see economic impacts of a loss of 17% GDP looking out just to a couple of decades out. So really significant. The other type of risk is transition risk, where we look at how a company will fare in a world with no or very little emissions and no fossil fuels. And here we see very concentrated impacts on a few key sectors. Of course, the fossil fuel industry, oil and gas, power generation, transportation, heavy industries are all uh, in the line of fire, so to say. And uh, the challenge here is um, you have very concentrated impacts on a few companies that can be really dramatic in terms of credit worthiness and credit risk. We are seeing some of those companies starting to shift their behavior and it really can be done. But what um, our modeling also shows is the earlier you take action, the clearer the policy signal as to uh, what's going to be put in place from a climate policy standpoint, um, the less costly, the more efficient, the less disruption there is. So early action is really worth it. Have the opportunity to do this right. It's, it's late, but we still have a window to do this right. And um, so our role, Moody's, as a global risk assessment company is to be an enabler of this transformation. We provide the data that will help organizations make the right decisions, manage their risk, invest in opportunities, and ensure we all move towards this more sustainable, resilient future that we all need.